the sequel to what is probably one of my stupidest video ideas ever, four years later, is here. Today, we're going to talk about budget sim racing shoes and gloves. Therefore, let's start with the gloves that got me this idea four years ago. Working gloves, in this case, Mechanics Fast Fits. There are so many of them. They Most of them go under 30, but can, they can be purchased at around 10. These ones retail at around 16 pounds. And these are gloves that have been serving in this house for everything. They have been doing airsoft when I used to play airsoft long time ago. They do gardening if I want to take something out. Uh, they help me through going changes of houses three times so I can use this to lift stuff if I need to protect my hands. They do a lot of things. They are washable and of course they do sim racing. These retail at around 16. And the things about the mechanics gloves is that they are more heavy duty. They will wear down. This one has wore down after you know a lot of work. There's a, a little bit of a hold here. But believe it or not, even though these are more on the warmer side, they actually can get your hands a little bit cooler because they're a bit loose at the wrist. So there's a bit of movement there. These are really not perfect. I had other types of gloves as well, a little thinner than this. And these work really well to protect Alcantara. Of course, because these have received around 700 hours of sim racing and then uh, a lot of work around the house. They don't look very good. They need to be replaced if I wanted to do in sim racing, but now these are my work gloves around the house. So here's another tip. If you really don't want to spend that much money, get stuff that can do double, triple duty around the house. So you can do sim racing. And if you need to do stuff around the house, you can also do it. Other options around this price point will be going to a sports store and going for cyclist gloves. A lot of people swear by, you know, uh, fingers off, Personally, I prefer uh, with the fingers in, so you have uh, full protection of the wheel, and you know it doesn't, it won't abrade so much your fingers. Uh, those can be had for 10, 15 euros as well. For example, in a Decathlon, so those are very good choices. Cycling gloves as well. Let's go for the first sim racing type of gloves, and these are sim hounds. I was contacted by sim hounds around three to four years ago during the lockdown about checking out their gloves. I've never done a video on them, and they sent me first one that has internal stitching, which I had an issue. If you are not uh, careful with the size selection, that uh, the internal stitching did burst. And then they have these, which in my opinion are far, far superior which are the external stitching ones. I have two pairs of them, and I've only used one pair, which is these ones. And honestly, they are excellent. They have uh, received a lot of washes and probably need another wash as well. Uh, in terms of stitching, they stay perfect. They are very, very comfortable. They are not the coolest gloves, unfortunately, but they are extremely comfortable, especially in the summer. The downside of this one and this design is the palms. Uh, the, they have a palm design, you know, it's glued in. I don't understand why they have a palm design at all, because in my experience, this doesn't have any grip and then it just looks ugly. But in terms of uh, rigidity, in terms of uh, how long this lasts, I've used these for around 800 to 900 hours. It has been, they have been suffering through a lot, through types of drifting, endurance racing and all of that. And they last and they last and they last. And for 25 pounds, I think this is actually a very decent deal. Let's go to the next one, which will be the feels from Jimmy Broadbent. Uh, you can get regular feels for 29. They are called SR2s, I believe. And these ones are five pounds more expensive. I have mixed feels of the, about these. Of course, all of this is based on my experience. There's a lot that I like on this glove, but there's also a lot that I dislike on the glove that makes me not use them at any time. I've bought this and I've probably only put two or three hours on these because for me, even though they are comfortable in a way, they're not comfortable in the other. First of all, something that is really good, the mesh at the front. And I actually like the design. I think the design of the Jimmy Broadband gloves are pretty nice. You know, design is what, the, what it is. Um, the mesh at the front or the textile over here at the, the palm of the hand, it is incredibly breathable. This is probably one of the coolest, as in releases the heat gloves uh, in that case. Uh, so it's incredibly comfortable it, it, now with the hot weather. 
But on the downside, the other part for me are the palms. The palms are too rubbery for me. That means they always want to go out. They don't want to stay fit to your hands. So you always, at least with these, uh, might be different on your hands. Um, with these, I feel that the gloves want to expand out. And for that, I don't like that. It gives me more uh, of a feeling that I don't want to have, even though it's, you know, they are extremely grippy. Uh, they're extremely high quality, but I just don't like using them because of the force that it goes out. But if if some of you like this, uh, don't mind this kind of uh, feeling on your hands, you know, pun intended. I think you're going to like these gloves because they're extremely breathable and they're actually extremely comfortable past the situation with the, the rubber of the palm. Uh, you also have uh, this thing at the, after your pointer, so you can use your mobile phone, you can use your uh, DDU's displays if you have you know, a DDU with uh, multiple settings. So these aren't really too bad. Starting at 29, they're still pretty reasonable. But once again, these are not multiple use uh, gloves, even though the, um, the same hounds could be these ones are more exclusively for sim racing and they're made for sim racing basically next for my current favorite sim racing gloves but they are not budget anymore and these are virage gloves they are a new company they sent me like this three months ago once again with even with all of them that i received i was not ever going to make a review on them and these are my favorite gloves because they kind of remind me of the most comfortable sim racing glove that I've ever used, which are the frames, but the frames adds an issue when I received them, I received two pairs of them, is that even though they were extremely comfortable, they basically broke down within 10, 20 hours. I'm not sure how they are with the new ones. And these essentially pick up one, what was best about the frames and put everything into 11. They're extremely comfortable. They really fit you like a glove. Um, in terms of breathability, they're extremely breathable. They're very, very good gloves in terms of letting the sweat out. Uh, the palm is a little bit thicker. It's not as thin as the Freewams ones, but you still have a lot of tactability. The grip is fantastic. I, I kind of like the design. They also have one with the Alpine design. If you want to spend five euros more, if you want to do that. The palm is in extremely good condition, even though I've been using this for around hundreds, 150 hours stops they actually look really, really nice. And because they are so breathable, they become really, really comfortable, which is something you want in sim racing. So you can use this to, to have good grip. You have mobility, good mobility of the hands because they fit you really well, but also you don't have issues or so many issues with breathability. So your sweat can come out, can evaporate very easily. So this, what does, it picks up the best things about the the feels for me, which is the extreme breathability at the top, but kind of correct the issue I have with them, which is the palm. The palm for me does have more flexibility, hence I prefer them over the, the feels. The last ones are kind of a wild card here because they are more expensive than anything else. And these are Sabolts. Uh, Sabolts gave me like this one year ago. I haven't used this a lot for very good reasons, even though this is the best constructed glove that is over here uh, the stitching the double stitching this is no joke this is proper proper double stitching the other double stitching that we see i've seen here or internal stitching or any stitching that we've seen before is good but the external stitching that they use over here is something else altogether you can really feel the difference in terms of quality this is a really well constructed glove it is extremely extremely comfortable Every single detail is really good. Even the motifs over here that they have for Sabolt, this is a completely different level of quality compared to the other ones. So why do I prefer the Virages uh, or any other glove over this? And the reason is very simple. Even though this is an extremely good wheel, it is not made uh, for me because they're extremely warm and I do tend to sweat a little bit from the hands when I'm doing sim racing and this is really not for me. This is probably the least breathable uh, type of glove. But if you are living in a very cold place, extremely recommended because they are actually incredibly closey. In terms of the advantages of this, they fit you really well. They let you close the hands. They have extremely good grip. 
But every time I use them past one hour or two, I need to take them off and I'll be sweating from the hands because, you know, sometimes it's just that you really enjoy the, the equipment and these are more expensive F59, but when they don't match for you, well, it is what it is. I really like them. I can recommend them if you don't have issues with sweating hands, but for me, you can't really use them. So I just use them for videos. Let's go to the other extreme of the body or the other part of the body. And we'll let's talk about socks. You know, socks are socks generally. Um, socks in sim racing, a, a lot of people use socks, wear by socks. I'm just gonna say what I think about some options out there. I'm not the socks guy in sim racing. I never was. Uh, whenever I had a load cell, you know, I had to figure out a solution for uh, using a load cell because when you need to put some force into the pedal and when you start using 20, 30, 40 kilos of pressure into the face, well, uh, you need something else other than a sock, at least in my opinion. Some people swear by socks, so I'm going to offer you uh, basically an option. These are socks that have a little bit of a, a rubber feel or rubber finish over there and these are from 3d wrap but i've seen the same design ish going around for example moradna sells them these are about 13 euros uh, moradna sells them at about 25 canadian dollars which is probably a little more expensive than that not much probably around 15 and what i can say about these socks because they are uh, much thicker socks and these will tend to be thicker socks is that a lot of people will love them Personally, I don't like these types of socks. I find them too restraining and too um, hot for sim racing. I prefer a, a thinner of everything when I can have a little bit of you know thinner gloves or thinner socks or thinner soles. I'll give you a few options later. I prefer that. Even if I have to use thinner socks with uh, a shoe, I much rather use that solution than something that is like this. And then I'll be sweating a lot from the from my feet as well. A lot of people will swell, swear by this. I'm not one of those people, but there is this kind of options for you. Other options will be hiking uh, socks as well. If you ever used, if you want something a little more padded, uh, use hiking socks. They will probably be cheaper than this there will still be an option for you. And now for the memes, beach shoes, water shoes, pool shoes, these are essentially my option for sim racing and for very good reasons. First of all, they're extremely cheap or not as expensive ever as everything else. You can These can start at around 10 euro. You can probably get them cheaper in places like Decathlon or a sports store. Sometimes even during the winter, they're you know selling them away because they, they have rid of stock. You can get these uh, for very affordable prices. Advantage of this, they're cheap. They're extremely breathable. Just like the gloves, you know, extremely breathable at the top. They are uh, used everywhere in the house. You can get out of the sim rig and go anywhere around the house. If you want to go to the garden, you can go to the garden. So these are just not for sim racing alone. Uh, they are breathable, like I said. They actually resist a lot because they have a proper sole, but the sole isn't very thick. And now this is the part that is going to be good for sim racing. Since the sole is thick, you have also a lot of sensibility and you also have options. If you don't like the insole, you can remove the insole and you'll have extra sensibility on your feet. So instead of buying karting shoes, a lot of people in sim racing use it, just karting shoes for sim racing. This is really a budget choice because they tend to be very cheap. Oh, I have to make some recommendations about choosing a water shoe. The first recommendation is because these shoes tend to be from Chinese stores, even if they are in Amazon, uh, be careful with size selection. It's preferable to go a little bit uh, shorter on your shoe size. So you have your, uh, you know, uh, your fingers slightly longer than uh, the shoe because the other way around, it's going to mean the front is going to flop a bit. I've tried that, it's really not that good. Of course, you want the shoe to be the size that you are, but oftentimes I find when you buy stuff like this, it is really not uh, the case where it's going to fit perfectly. It's going to be a little bit of luck involved uh, because in some numbers, they will say, oh, this number, it will fit your size, but in reality, it doesn't. But then for another brand, it does, which is kind of weird. Another thing that you need to look for are the heels. Uh, some of the pool shoes, 
or beach shoes will have just a straight sole. This one terminates on the heel. Having heel rest is good because, of course, you want to put your foot like this and you want to have something to be uh, on your heel to protect you. In this case, a little bit of rubber. That means if you use a clutch car, you can do heel and toe very easily. I've used these shoes a lot. Um, they cost me like 15 euro or 17 euro a few, few years ago, and they're still around. But lately, as in the last two years, two and a half years, my love for sim racing shoes is another one. And these are, once again, a sim hounds. Uh, I have a good, actually a good story with these. I kind of recommended as a joke to Adam, the creator of sim, sim hounds, to do sim uh, racing shoes, this. And actually he did as a joke and in reality they i suppose they sell quite well because they are still going around every so often they don't have stock so i think my joke kind of worked well for him which is pretty good uh they he sent me one pair of shoe this shoe and i can tell you this is my favorite shoe ever as in ever ever i've had other types of shoes Outside, inside, doesn't matter. This is some of the most comfortable shoes I've ever used. Of course, this is just a glorified uh, pool shoe, a little more expensive, but there's a, one thing that I think it makes a little bit of difference for sim racing, which is essentially uh, uh, this elastic over here. And this means you. this is really gonna grab the top of your foot and it's going to stay in place. In terms of how comfortable it is, because of all of this, it, it really feels that it's fitted for you and adds also the advantages that you've seen on the other one, which will be the heel. You can remove the insole if you want to, and is extremely breathable. You can put this on a washing machine. Of course, you need to take the insole out to, to wash it, and it will be, I'm not gonna say as good as new, but it will be clean, it will be ready to go. This is something really, really awesome, and if you're not looking for something that breaks the bank in less than a long time, these are about, 25 pounds, they're more expensive than the other one, but these are a little more fitted for sim racing. And I've been using this for like two, three years. I can usually recommend this one. I hope this has helped you. Let me know below what are you using on your sim rig.